Hey, what's going on, YouTube, my family, and my friends? Excellent Dreams here, back with another video for you today. Working on this design here for the Red Hat Society. Or just like that, I'm going to say. That's how I'm doing it today, y'all. Oh, actually, we don't even need to have them tucked in there like that. It works just great. Put them right here. Get this beat now. I'm not. Let's explain. that I like it. Definitely like it. Scoop this all the way around like so. Got that one off right there. Let's make two of them, y'all. Boom. I was going by the bean. I'm liking it. The Bella is looking good. Let's work on his Royales now. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get everything up on that template. In that template. Move all that back on. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's go. So we still got to fix all of this in the text up here. How's it asking for the passcode? There is no passcode. Try it again. Just click on the link and try it again. That's how I just try it again. I don't know what to tell you. How did you get in the other day? I didn't give you a passcode the other day. Doing it the exact same way. Now, now starting to 
be a waste of my time at times. I don't think people really understand that. Take another hour, take another hour, pay me for another hour, and I'll go over the refresher course. But I'm sure it's in that video. You may just have missed it. But here we go. I guess people just sometimes think I'm just tell them that I do this for a living. They think I'm just free. Just all day. I'm working right now. I really, truly am trying to get this design done for this lady. People don't care. They be needing their questions and they answer, answer right away. Regardless of what you got going on, I'm here to help. It is this, so let me not make it seem like I'm I'm um, frustrated in any way because I'm really not. I'm here to help people, but some people just don't understand. They don't have the time and the courteous to say, let me just go ahead and, and I didn't quite understand it last time, but let me just book another hour with him, you know? They want to use up all my time on the back end like this. I just got one question, and that one question turns into uh, 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 an hour of training. Then I ask them to, okay, I do accept donations, and then they send me $7. Like, those be the people that I no longer want to help because they're not appreciative of what I got going on or the time and effort that I put into this. So, he's still not here. I probably sent the design link however long ago. And can, can I email it to her again? And just didn't put the email right there. Like I want to scroll up and try to search and find it. Oh, my.
Hey, hey. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, let me uh, shrink this down just a little bit. Hold on. So I can minimize this and pull my other and get you back. So there you go. All right, now how do I, uh, okay, share my screen. Share. Can you see it now? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so, let me see here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait a minute, let me go back. Uh, approve, all right. I click in the yellow because like, like you said, those are other colors. I'll hold okay. down. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Let me let me zoom back. Let's zoom back. Let's zoom out. Okay. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure you only had that yellow. Let's change the color of it real quick. Make sure you only got that piece. Uh oh, my hand hit it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Zoom back and and change the color to any color, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Mm hmm Control. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So then I, I selected that color. I hold down the shift key, go over to where that other color is, yep. and click. And then the dots went away. Okay, okay, okay. So here, here's what's happening. Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. One more time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now click on the yellow. Now hold shift and attempt to, to do what you just did again. Okay. Now you see when you go over to it, how you hovered over it and it went from, go back to the yellow. It's a crosshair on the yellow. When you go yes. to the, when you go to the beige, the crosshair goes away. Yes. So, so slide over to the right just a little bit. Okay, now you want to uh, click on that while you're holding shift. Now, right click on it. There it is. Combined. Yep. So what what you did the first time and how and oh, how geez. and how you messed it up was you got to zoom in so that you can make sure that your cursor turns from a crosshair to a pointer. To make sure that you're actually selecting that other color. Ah, oh, and it still went to the wrong color. It took the beige and not the yellow. Okay, so you got to do it the other way. So control Z and back. Control Z. Yep. Zoom back out. Okay. Uh oh, right there. Okay. Deselect everything. How do you deselect everything? Click on the white area. You click on down here in the white area that's off of your design. Okay. All right. Now zoom back in. This is where you want to fine tune what you what you're working on. Zoom in a little more. All right. So now we want to click on the beige color first. Hold shift and click on the the other color. And right click and combine. Yes. So oh. so here. So so here here's what what happened that that image has so much color in it you'll want to let me show you you'll want to on this type of image go in there and select all of this same color here go here to select all of the same oh, color same color uh-huh and what I like to do is I like to edit and nudge that out remember let's put it on 15 Save that. We're gonna nudge that out. So, so we're just that's all to, of the beige. Yeah, that's all the beige. And this part right here, I'm gonna change that a weird color, and I'm gonna nudge that back in because we know that's not part of her skin. I'm just trying to weld all of this. That's part. That's looks like it's part of her skin. We're gonna change it to this weird looking blue, and we're gonna nudge it back in and make sure that that's all her skin. Because we need that group together. Yep, it yes, is. It is. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to combine. And now I'm going to hold shift 
because I know I got all of this aquamarine blue combined. Hold shift, click on her skin, right click and combine all that together. So you And just then had weld, to, right? yep, yeah, yeah, and then weld, yep. Yeah. So the only mistake that you were making was that you got to zoom in enough to make sure that you're uh, selecting one, the, the first color that you want, and two, the second color that you're trying to combine it to. Like right here, I'm going to just go ahead and finish her finger. When I click right here, okay, I see the crosshair, but I don't see the nodes around this one little piece. So if I zoom back out, that's why I was asking you to zoom back out. See, there's the node. Let's nudge that out so we can see what's going on there. See, all of this is together. Ah. We only need this one little piece right here for our fingertip, right? Mm -hmm. Let's nudge that back in. All right. What we can do right here just for her fingertip is we're going to smart fit. Well, let's see what's going on with this other piece. This piece right here. What's this? That's hot part of her finger, too. Okay, yep. So that see the nodes around that, that means that little piece is singular by itself. It's not combined with other pieces of the design. So we're gonna go ahead and combine that. Boom. And then we're gonna smart fill this part right here. And then we're going to combine that as well. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I went to it just went to the other color. Yeah, I understand. yeah. I went to I meant to get off a of smart field and go back up to my selection. It just didn't take. There it is. So I like to zoom back out. See, everything is selected again. Deselect and zoom back in. Click on just that little piece right there. Hold shift and click on there. And we're going to combine and weld. Combine. And then weld. And then I'm going to double click right here on this little piece right here because we know that's connected to the rest of the gray in the design. So we're going to double click there. We're going to highlight that little piece. We're going to delete it. So now, boom. Okay, you lost me there. I got I, I followed what you did, but when that when that piece right there occurred, because I Yeah. saw when you combined and everything and it Yeah. stayed the same color, what took place? So basically what happened was all of this. We we just checked it. I'm going to take this little gray little piece right here and I'm going to send it to the back. So we just checked it that this piece right here, we're going to change the color of it to maroon or And it's red. a lot of different pieces like that, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's all together. Let me nudge it out to the side so you can see. All of that was together, right? You had already grouped it all together. So because it's already grouped together, I'm going to leave it together because I can break it apart or I can go in there, double click, and get rid of this piece right here because we know we don't need that, right? Mm hmm I did it. I, re I did it reverse. So I could have went in there and be like, oh, after I drug this out, I could have double clicked on that and say, we don't need this little piece right here. That's a part of the finger that we're about to smart fill and fill it back in. What I did was I left it there. Uh huh. It's still there. Right, I'm gonna let me send it to the back. So I smart feel just that little piece to her, to the tip of her fingers, because that was a different color. Remember, that was that, that gray color. Once I combined it to there and welded it, boom. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Let me combine it first. Combine. And well, once I combined and welded, it's Then it all became one. part of her hand now, right? But when I push this to the back, that piece is still there. 
because we never deleted it. So all I did was double clicked it then, now, and deleted it. So I first I filled in the finger with that piece. I smart filled that piece. And then I welded that extra piece to the hand. And then I went back in there and deleted the piece that was underneath there. So now that you sent that, to the back. Yes, that I sent to the back. Yeah. As you're working with your designs and you start layering things on top of each other, you'll start seeing it. Like, let's say right here for her pearls, right? We can take this little piece right here and shift and weld it to that pearl. But let's just say we wanted multicolored pearls. You can go in there with your smart fill tool. Fill that one, fill that one, fill that one. Select all of the same color since you know the smart fill is the only color that comes out that color. Mm -hmm. We're going to change those to like lime. We're going to weld them together. But now, what do we know? We know that we have a lime, three limes on top of three reds. All we did was smart fill that area. So that area that we smart fill, that color is still up under there. So we can use these three, push them to the back. I want to make sure that these three, these three, they have to be together. Okay, they are together. Okay, perfect. So if I take these three and push them to the back, we know we still got them selected because they're, they're, they're in the back that we just can't see them, but the nodes are still around them. You see them? See the nodes? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold shift now. We're going to click on these reds, and we're going to trim the greens through the reds, but from up under now. We cookie cut in, in reverse. So let's trim that. Boom. Oh, that one trim. That was well. Hold on. Our trim is right there. Oh, shift. There it is. Now trim. Boom. Yeah, right. So now those three reds have been trimmed through and they're no longer there. We cut, we cut them out the design. So that's essentially what I did is I just did it in reverse. Mm hmm. I'll catch me. it. It's it's just taking a minute. I was, yeah. I was like, yeah. no. I mean, I may, I may say you chose a you chose a busy one. You know what I mean? I know, and I <laughs> I couldn't find any with because her theme is gambling. She likes casino. I was trying to find one, and then I said, well, let me get rid of the background. When I tried to get rid of the background because I just wanted the machine and her. Yeah, I couldn't get rid of the background. I'm like, oh my god, this right, is right, because look. Yeah, you start you start losing her hair and her eye and Eyes. stuff like that. Yep. Right. So so look, I bet you if you took this image and you drug it into Remove BG, you familiar with Remove BG? No. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's open. Edge, you want me to open edge? Yeah, yeah, open edge for me. So I have it open and I need to add. Uh, I don't want to. How can I add? Because my screen is in the way. Darn it. Um, I don't want to stop. Just screen. minimize career. Yeah, that's it. And it still won't restore down. There we go. Add. Okay, now put it back up. Okay. And then go here and what did you tell me to, what do you want me to put in? Yeah, I mean, I can't see it. Oh, you can't see it? No. -uh. Oh. You gotta uh, minimize for real draw. Uh, I did. What do you I see on your screen? Uh, I minimized it. It's minimized. 
uh do you want me to take it hit the um yeah that one can you see now or no no it's okay still... let me let me go back because it's probably me not sharing the right screen oh yeah okay yeah you probably just share corel draw we gotta uh stop sharing and then hit share and do it and do entire screen okay stop share and then hit share entire screen where is that there uh, it's at top left entire screen oh there it is share okay there we go all right there we go yep so uh now type in what was it again um uh, who was that? March. Mark. Well, no, uh, uh, remove BG. Remove BG? Yeah. Free? Nope. Just remove BG. Oh, okay. Should be the first one to pop up. Yeah, click right there. Now that image that you just got, you want to drag that into there. I don't know. Uh, just go to uh, just go to. I'm sorry. You go to, yeah. Close that and hit upload image over here. There we go. And you want to drag your image into there or upload it. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go ahead, hit cancel. We could yeah. not remove the background. Okay. So, so with your magic brush, you're going to pretty much, let me see here. Let me see if I can still control your screen. Okay. We're going to hit erase. Oh, it's not letting me, oh, it's not letting me control it on here. Let me try, hit erase, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you're going to use, if you hover over the image, you'll see the eraser. And you're just going to, because it's a magic eraser, just erase from the that little area of black without touching the uh, slot machine. Okay, <laughs> let me make it a little smaller. Okay. It's magic, so you don't even have to be that precise. Just, uh, Take go diagonally through the black, right in the center. Right oh. in the center. Yeah, go diagonally through the black and let it go. It's a magic eraser, you know. Okay. So, so wait a minute. Let's control Z because you went too far. Okay. Like you, so um control right here, let's undo right here, down here. Down the bottom? Yeah, right there. Undo again. It's a magic eraser, so just draw one diagonal, yeah, through the center of that black and see what we get. Right there. You don't want to go all the way to the eyeball. We're trying to keep the eyeball in there. Okay, so that's, that's, so I'll do another line. Yep, yep, yep. About right there, yep. It should clean up all that area right there. Yeah. See, I clean it, got it, even though. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, and do another line on the other side. So you don't even have to get that close. You just got to define the area you want it to erase right there. No, I've never seen this before. Okay, so, so, so that's not bad. I would get, like, the, the area to the right of her hair, and then... Like, try to get the whole left side, and then I will work with that. Yep. Me now. But you don't even have to really fine tune it. Like, you could have did a, 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 went diagonally from the top left to the bottom right across her across her hairline and it would have got that area. You know what I mean? Mm. 
so like this up here, I don't have. Yeah, you can. And that's it. It's just like that whole area away right there. Boom. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So like this just yeah. goes down. Yeah. Not quite that straight, but like like this. Like hit hit undo. Like I would come across it like this. I would start my my bubble and I would come down. Just no, like this. Moving. I gotta give you control. Hold on one second. How do I go back? Give share All control. Right, yeah, let me see here. All right. Yeah, let me approve. Okay, go ahead. All right, let's see. Okay, there go the brush. We're gonna just we don't have to even try to get super close. We can just go right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go around her little pearl and go. Just like that, and let it go. Boom. See, okay. I cleaned up all that side. So now I'm going to just use it and I'm going to go and just get all the rest of this out of there. So, because it's a magic eraser, all you got to do is just roughly highlight what you wanted to erase and it's going to erase it. Like, boom. And this, yeah. Oh, wow. So we can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, fine tune our brush and go in there and see if we can get this as close as we can. But as you can see, all of this is black. So trying to use the magic eraser so close to there might not work. But let's see. Let's see if you give it to us. Fingers crossed. No, I took some of it away. Okay, and that's and and that's okay. That's okay. But right here, we need it in here too. So I'm gonna just go right to the center, see if it can. Might take some of her mouth out. Nope, it no, didn't. It didn't. Oh, it's gonna yeah. take her pearl. Yeah. Out, okay. yeah, yeah. You you chose a busy one for your first one. And I try to tell people all the time, keep it simple. You chose, this is past the intermediate level. Like, yo, man, you chose an advanced oh, one wow. for your first one. And that's why you're having so, so many problems, you know? You got to keep it simple. Black and white, sweetheart, black and white. <laughs> I looked. It wasn't nothing there. for. If I could have got one that was black and white with just a gambling, I would have did it. But I couldn't yeah. find yeah. one. No, we got it. You got to We got to think outside the box. Look, let me show you. Uh, where you're? Oh, here we go. Yeah, think outside the box. So let's say let's go back to Google, and let's do first. You do March. Um, SVG. Oh, look, that's it. We're going to click it on images right here. Uh-huh. How do you click it on images? Right here. Let's say we found that one. That one is, is an easy okay. one, right? Okay. Going to hit save image on her. On my clip art. M-A-R-G-E, March. Boom. Save. And then, what do you think we got to do now? Uh, we gotta go to uh Corral Draw, open it up, nope, and drag. Nope, nope, nope. Uh oh. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. We wanna find. You say there was none of with Marge at the casino, so let's find a slot machine. You now you see what I'm saying? So we got the we got our Marge in black and white already, and then we are gonna oh. grab a slot machine. We're just gonna put them in the same image. So now she's at. The slot machine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let's see here. Right here, something simple like this. Or we could have even just did something simple like this. That's very simple. Mm -hmm. remember, remember, we're keeping this, we're keeping it simple because we're at the beginner stage, you know. You you, you can't jump into shooting three pointers and you don't know how to uh, and shoot know from how. the foul line yet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh uh slot machine. 
Boom. So now we got our slot machine and we got our march. We'll go back into I wonder I was frustrated. Yeah, was... you chose you chose a hard image and you and you uh trying to do uh, some things that we haven't learned yet. Like you know what I mean? All right. Okay. Boom. Open this up larger. We're gonna open up a new one. Like even even me, it would take me days, you know, to turn this one to the rhinestone. I uh... can take the rabbit. How would you say? You about to say something? No. Uh -uh. Oh. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go into your files here. I'm going to right click on this file folder. You'll bring up your most recent folder, which is your clip art. We're going to drag it right in. We're going to actually hold control and click them both. Above them. Right. And drag them right both in. You can only see one because they place them on top of each other. Right click, outline, trace. Oh, I accidentally hit line art, but watch what happens though. This turns it into line oh, art, but you can still use that line art. We're gonna hit cancel. Depending on what type of art you're trying to do. Flip art. Delete background, delete, remove, delete original image, remove background. Look, it right. still came up like that, looking like that. That's okay. Hit ungroup all objects, and now we got our, our little 777. We're going to do the same thing with her. Flip part. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Yes. Okay. We're going to grab all of this. When I grab stuff, I like to group it together before I move it. Because I know I got it grouped together, I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to hold shift, select that black, and center it. Even though I liked it better when it was over to the side. Like that, that looks a little better for me. And then you can add her name or whatever. What's her name? What's what's it? Marge. Oh, Ursula. Ursula. Yeah. U R S A L A. Uh, no, U R S U L A. All right, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> U R S U L A. L A. Mm -hmm. I'll open this little side piece here you got to go fun shopping you got to go fun shopping i have been fun shopping and it's and you are correct thank you for saying that because i've been trying yeah you got to go to uh this is where i go you, you you'll be in here having a blast you forget where you at when you lose track of time got to go to defunt.com Thank I went you. there. Yeah, no. Like that first, I love the first one, the very first one. I love that. Yeah. And then you just download it. Boom. I like to download like 20 at a time because you can install them all at once. All at one time. Yeah. Like I like this one, the famous college with the words going up and down. Download. I like it. it gives it definition. Yeah. This one right here is a good one because I can see a double row of Mac a rhinestones already in it. Mm -hmm. After you do do a, a few of them and you start seeing the size and thickness of a particular font, you are on you will know automatically, like, okay, yeah, a two row of rhinestones to fit in there and it'll look great. You just gotta go in there and find the ones that stand out and stick out to you. I like bold, thick fonts because I do a lot of rhinestones, like this one right here, this Leonardo is thick. But then a thicker one came up, this cheese matcha looks good. That's another good one, yeah. Yeah. Glamour Day might work as well, but Diary Augustus is, is so thin, you could make it work, but that's more so intermediate level of, of, of knowing how to just 
follow the line and put the stones on the line and then get rid of the, the sex all together. I go in here once a week. I'm probably on here font shopping because oh wow, you, okay. you, you need some star work is not bad, bowler is good, super pineapple is good, lucky coin is good. But it's a lot of yeah, don't movie. don't necessarily follow my style though. You know, you're gonna come up with your own style to where you might like using the skinnier uh text where you're not even gonna use rhinestones right there. You might sublimate that or you might uh decide to do that in vinyl or reflective, you know what I mean? What I'm do is for her name on because remember it's going on a cup first. Okay. So I gotta think that I'm putting it on a cup, the long, lar the longest, tallest it can be height wise is six inches. Okay. So I'll either put it long ways or diagonal on the cup. Right. Um, right. So with, so, so with what I've seen people do when it comes to cups and things of that nature is they do. Let's do oh, that's title. So let's go to uppercase. Let's deselect it. Let's try to choose. Oh, you so you had you got something in there. You got something in there. Some, you, yeah. You, you just gotta remember when you find you the ones you like to uh hit. Add the favors down here so they can populate up here. That way you ain't got to keep trying to go look for them. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so that's nice and thick. So say we were putting this on a cup, right? We want it, you say, six inches, six right? Uh-huh. In length. In length. Oh, your screen is so this. tiny. But I can't really see it. Tell tell me tell me the uh the lengths in the size. The length is six inches. The height the height of the cup. No, I mean I mean I mean for in the design wizard. I mean uh Corel draw right here. What's the width? Uh, the width. Hold on one second. I'll tell you. Well, the width it doesn't matter. No, um, right. I I know, but the, oh, you're talking. Oh, it's right now it's saying three point three six five. All right, so 3.365, that is the length of the cup. So if you're holding the cup sideways and we're looking at it, that's how we're going to put Ursula on there. Unless, yes. Yeah, you, so this can be six inches. That's what you're saying, right? Yes, yes, okay. exactly. It's at four now. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And keep going, right? It's at 5.6. There we go, 5.8 hole. It went over six. You go a little right there. What that's is good. it now? 5.969. Okay. So, question. Uh-huh. Is that the total length of the cup? Uh, or did you or did you measure the area that you wanted Ursula in without going to the edges? I don't want to go to the edges. So, that is perfect. 5.969. Okay. Okay. So, so so the total cup that you're trying to put that Ursula in is what? Six and a half? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Yes. So what we want to see now is place and feel. Actually, wait a minute. Actually, it's seven and a half. I'm measuring it right now. Actually, it's seven and a half. So, so this, it's a little no, This is perfect. No, this is perfect. You got to remember, you want to leave room for, uh, if you're sublimating it, you don't want it to go all the way to the edge, and you don't want no, the I stones don't. all the way to the edge either, because they, uh -uh. yeah, okay? So let's go. We're, I wanted to see if stones are fit. That way you can know automatically, okay, yeah, I can start making uh, rhinestone uh, tem template patterns for tumblers. Oh, okay. So this is her name. We're gonna about to try to see if we can get that on the tumbler. That way all you got to do is press it with your tumbler press. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We forgot to put the the row, the islands in there. So let's put one island in there. And we got to set on SS10 stones. That's not bad. 
We might have to use SS sixes. Oh, so okay. Let me see here. So it look like only one row will fit in there. Yeah. Okay, but if we use SS six stones, which if you're using it on a smaller design, you may want to consider using SS six stones. I don't have those yet. I only have SS tens. I get it. Mm -hmm. I think SS sixes will work just perfectly. Yeah, that would work better. Yes, it would. And and we had to just go on there and fix the lines and things of that nature. But now we know that for six inch design using SS six stones, we can cut out uh, uh how many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six. A six letter name should be able to fit on a what's that? A twenty ounce cup? Yes, twenty ounce tumbler. Yes. All right. Yeah. We and look. Watch this. I'm just thinking outside the box. I've never done tumblers before, right? I mean, control L. Uh-oh. That was all together. Wait a minute. Control G. I just want to see. So, look. Look what we're working with. That works. You see how yeah. it works? Mm-hmm. So, if we were to place and fill... Let's un just ungroup it real quick. Ungroup all objects. If we're placing fill on that black, a hatch fill. Okay, so you would be able to get them in there and still make out the definition. So, like, you would be able to put those blue rhinestones on top of her hair, you know, and have her hair shiny. You would be able oh, that to would be so nice. That would be nice. You would be able to actually look at look at it right here. You would be able to actually take yellow stones or clear stones, because look like they definitely fit, and place them <coughs> on her necklace. So after you sublimate the cup, you'll grab this little rhinestone, little template right here that you'll create and press these right into her necklace. So uh, people ask me, can you uh, use Corel Draw to make rhinestone templates for cups? Yes, you can. If once you, I'm saying it. That this is a whole nother level that I didn't know existed because what I normally do, I take that black and white image right here. Yeah. Cut it out and then take each crystal and I'd, you know, fill it in. Right. Hand, hand do it. Nope, you'll be able to uh, create this template right here and then brush the stones in real quick and then just line them up and press them in. Yeah, but, that's amazing. But also think about uh, if you were doing 10 of them, it'd be so much easier to do 10 of them this way than to do 10 of them by hand. The only way we can do this part is doing them one by one to make sure that they fit over these circles. So that's why I'm doing it like this, this way. I understand why you're doing it that way. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. You only got to do it once, and it's going to encompass however many uh, garments you decide to use this for. I might right here. I might actually put him right here and just go in there and get rid of this little area right here. All together, boom. And then probably move this one in. Well, in reality, I can get rid of all the the spots the underneath and do an equal spacing on on the yellow stones because for where they they would go. I was just using this as a guideline, but that's what happens when you're designing. As you're designing, as you're doing stuff, you're like, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, I can go in there and delete all of these because I'm covering them up anyway. You can't even see them. Right. I can go in there and get all of these out. Let me just push all of these yellow stones to the back. Delete, 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 delete. I'm just clicking on it and deleting it because then I'm going to bring all the yellow stones to the front and I'm going to 
cookie cut them through that black so that they sit flush against the cup and not on top of vinyl. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Doing? Uh, training well. Oh, all right. I just want to explain about those. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll be back. Give me a second. All right. Wait a minute. I got to click here. Select all of the same size and color. So, so just the yellow ones and push them to the front. I got all the yellow ones. I'm going to right click on them and combine. Let me finish going in here and getting this, getting these out of here though. I said, oh, I got them all. So I'm, I'm double click on the black because now I got to get the negative space out but below the stone. So I had to double click on the black to open up the, the, the uh, shape tool. Oh yeah, my God. I tell How long people. Did it take you to get this? Um, Can I've been you? using it daily, every day for thirteen years. So as what? I as I learned the steps one by one, I mean, I I assume that if I went straight through it and uh, taught people everything that I know, it would probably be a, I can get it in a five hour course, you know, so about five one hour trainings. But I say take it in one hour increments, that way you learn the basics first, you learn how to select your colors, like, but then after that, hour you want to play around with it for about a week or so you know that's what i was doing trying yeah. to do yesterday until i got so frustrated i was like oh i can't i gotta walk away yeah yeah so so uh what you were doing you were you, you jumped the gun and went with a with an image that was that was too busy too noisy too fast start with a black and white image and uh if you can't find one merge two of them together you know Fine, fine. Just uh, about it. I didn't even think outside the box with that. Yeah. And, and that's all part of just uh meeting a guy like me who's going to help you to start thinking like that. The key to designing is elements. Like you can have different elements in your design, like a reef with the they used to put reefs with reindeer, like you know what I mean, and then add in a uh a uh a smoking chimney like to represent Christmas like you know what I mean like right. or you would put in a a water slide a few splashes and balls to represent a day at the swimming pool you know so it's different elements and you start visualizing those elements when you actually look at real life and be like okay there's a park they got swings they got the basketball hoop like you know what I mean so as you're drawing and recreating the virtual images you'll start getting a bigger bigger hang of how how to uh make it all work all right let me see something when i move these yo it was still stuff back there so let me go edit no it's over yep okay so i already taken out the pieces from the black, but then they still had the actual objects themselves that I never deleted. Okay. So, next one. All right, so I got to go in there and get them two. Boom. And that one. Boom. And this last one up here. Double click and get it. So, so yeah, I took it. Uh, I mean, I'm still learning stuff to this day. Like you know what I mean, but as I as I learned what I learned, um, uh, I worked on that for a week or two, a month or two, and then I moved on to learning something else and worked on that. But if somebody took it five hours and then they watched that five hour video over and over and over again. They may get it in that five hours or it may take watching that five hour clip three times, you know what I mean? Over a course right. of a couple of months as you're playing around with the software. So uh no, I didn't I didn't get it in five hours, but I believe a five hour class I could teach it and uh people could learn 
the entire thing, you know. So, so now you're I making say, space in between. Yeah, I'm going. I'm doing these to there. I might add one more. Different clear the path, and then I'm gonna start it from here and go go around this way. I didn't do the whole thing. You'll see when you try to do whole circles, it tends to crisscross itself and uh, go back the other way. You'll learn. You'll see, and then you'll be like, okay, let me. You'll you'll learn it just like I did. It. Hey, it won't do the whole circle. All right, let me just go this far in on this side, then go this far in on the other side, see if that works. And it'll work. For some reason with circles and curves, if you're trying to do a, a loop de loop, it's going to, the stone's going to, yeah, the stone's going to try to loop the loop too. Like, and you're like, I didn't want it to do that. Like, you know what I mean? Right. And, go, and the design software is going to look at you and be like, okay, well, you did it. You loop the loop, that's, that thing, so I ain't know what you what you was trying to do. Like you know what I mean? So I only do half of it when it come to circles. I like if it, if you got an S, I would do like the top, doop doop, and stop right there, and then grab it, then and then down do it. Yeah, center, right. You'll see. I don't know why it does that, but I guess it's trying to follow algorithms, and it gets caught up on them on them curves and turns like that. But that definitely looks a lot better. You know, oh, and that and that will fit on the cup, you know, because it's four inches in height. Yep, that would be perfect because it has room at the top and room at the bottom. Yep. Wow. So is that the same size? Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, you didn't change the size. Right, mm. right. So I'm going to move, delete all of this and move her back into place. And depend on, listen, depend on how you do it, right? Let me just group all this together, control G. Hold this, boom, see. Depends on how you do it. This may be one side, and then the 777 seven, seven can go on the other side of the cup. I like it like that, actually. I like it just it, like that, and it then- may not fit, the angle one it, side, huh? Yeah, you gotta remember though, it might not let me see. It might not fit. She was already four inches by herself. So let's move this 777 up to there. Let's see what it is. See, now it's 6.21 inches. Well, it's six, what'd you say, six and a half? No, seven and a half. The cup is seven and a half in length. Right. Okay. So six point. Oh, this, so this might work. This gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. For the total height of the cup and the width. Yeah. I'm so I'm, that's gonna work. I'm glad I could be of assistance to you, Sir Dana. Yes. I do got work to do, sweetheart. Like, uh, I do accept uh donations for my time. You know oh, what I mean? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do <laughs> it. Don't. Don't you ain't gotta? I was gonna do that because I didn't think you was gonna be able to even come on here. How much you want to charge today? Uh, I this this is maybe I did this out the kindness of my heart, so it's a donation on what you feel like I should deserve. So, uh, what whatever you send, I'll be okay with that. I'm here to help. You know, I appreciate this. I'm sending it right now. What whenever you want to do a a one on one for a full hour, you know, you know the cost of that, you know. Yeah. Uh, what what I try to do is I try to tell people like if if you can hold off and wait till the weekends, there's typically more people available to join us on the weekends. And then if it's three people or more, I do two hours at the same price, you know, because then it's more so of a class setting and I'm helping uh, a group of people. But the one on one, we can do that whenever you're ready, morning, noon or night. We just got to schedule ahead so that I'm not busy. Okay. Okay. All okay, right. So I'm, I'm sending it now. All right. And for, for future reference, just start with the black and white white designs right now. If you can't find it, hit me up. I'll I'll help you to brainstorm so that we can keep it basic right now as you learn and as you grow. You know what I mean? Okay. And that's I just sent you twenty five dollars. Thank you, sweetheart.
Let me know. Did you get it? It says it's all done on this part. Let me see here. What did what what uh payment service did you use? Dell. Okay, yep, I got it. Yep. And thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you a million. I can't wait to see this finish. Yeah, me, I can't either. I'm ex you got me real excited. Thank you. Me personally, what I would do is I would probably uh ungroup. Like right here, I'll probably color these. Probably do one one color. Oh, it's all it's all together. Okay, that's cool. Well, that sucks. You said it, do, it, it, it do, but it don't. See, let me show just show you real quick how my mind thinks. So you can just start incorporating it when you do stuff. So it would I would love if these seven, these boxes, just the boxes were different colors, you know? Yeah. So, to accomplish that, though, you would go in there with this rectangle tool, because they're rectangles, right? We're going to start at this corner. We're going to draw that rectangle down to that corner. And we're going to make it blue. They should all be the same size, so we're going to hold control and drag this one over to that one. Yep. Blue, and then that one to that one. Blue. And send it to the back, right? Yeah, yeah. But watch this. We're going to take these three. We're going to weld them together first. And we want them just a little bit bigger so that it encompasses any spillage from the boxes that's behind them. So I'm okay. going to do a place and fill. I'm going to put a little outline on it of 0.2. Island fill. Boom, see that? I'm going to use this part right here to hold shift and click on the gray, and we're going to trim the, whatever behind there out of there. So now, when we delete this and send the blue to the back, there we go. We got our color. And we're going to break the curve apart. So now we can get a purple one, a yellow one, and the blue one, like, you know. And now we can, I'll probably merge my sevens together, or weld them together, and probably do like, boom. So now what we got, oh, yeah, yeah, now what we got is boom. You know what I'm saying? We got our three colors, and remember this should still be a color too. Yep. Let's change that. We can, I mean, we can go, we can play. Oh, we got a top and a bottom. Shut your mouth. Like, sure enough, we got some fine tuning where we can go in there and, like, I'll probably delete all of that. That didn't work for me. I would delete all of that. And we are only, yep, delete that too. Yep. And on this one, I'll probably delete all of that because it was just looking too much for me. Whatever this is right here, I don't think I want to delete that. That looks like it's supposed to be part of that box. So I'm going to hold shift and combine it to that black. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? And so as you're playing around, like, okay, what is this? Nope, I want that out of there too. Uh. So now it's cleaner. Now it's a lot cleaner. We're probably going to click on this box, click on this box, click on this box. I'm going to right-click and get rid of the outline. So you're ready to go. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I would probably drag this stone here all the way over here. Let it go. I'll probably delete these three and do a Oh, I didn't delete? No, I didn't. Oh, that oh, it's all together. Yeah. Gotta to click and ungroup all objects. Mercy, mercy me. Oh. All right. There we go. Now I can feel between two of this part. I'm 
you rolling now. Jeez. That is still between two. Boom. Take oh out one. Gosh. Take out right. One. There we go. Shift and clear the path. Oh my God. It looks so good. It looks good. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Just, just using that that concept of okay, I'm about to make her a casino cup. You know what I mean? We got the seven seven seven. You know, we got the the Marge. We got her name. You know, you can go in there and fix her name for real, quite easy and simple. Right from the video we did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I think you I think you're on your way, Shardana. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this another shot today. I got all day today. I'm gonna be working on this thing. All right. Remember, at the beginning stages, start with names and black and white images. Look, and and I believe from what I've taught you so far, you'll be smooth sailing. You know, uh -huh. but uh, keep keep it simple for now because there's a lot more to learn. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. Thank you. Don't look. Don't don't judge my heart. I just appreciate you. You have no clue. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh trust it, trust me. When I tell people that this software e is easy, it is easy, but it's easy at a beginner level. Once you get past the beginner level, it gets easier to where you can start learning the advanced stuff. And then it gets easier to where you're like, okay. You know, you're throwing together stuff like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's why. But you, you got to get past learning the the basics. And as you learn the basics, your mind will start forming. Like like with this one, I I know I probably just blew you away, but that's it's it's just like I would probably even me look. I would probably be like, okay, boom. When she pick up the cup, the eyes are gonna twinkle, you know? That's just me. Well, the white once part again, be, uh, yeah. It's whew. yeah, that's just me once again. I've been doing it for so long. I start seeing little stuff, and maybe I know for a fact that I'm gonna use black stones right there for her eyes. Let me keep them yellow so that I know that the stones there. I mean, aquamarine. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I'm on the same page with you. You may even decide to do a place and feel, island feel inside of here. But once again, that's that's just if you see it and how you and, and how you choose the design, you know, island feel. Oh, and then they stones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Add stones and then change this to 0 0.075. I don't feel. Boom. Oh, you know what? It's on stone size six and I'm 10. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did. We did all of those in sixes. But hold on. Let's see here. Boom. Delete all of those. Delete. Put it back on 10. Mm -hmm. Let's hatch fill this. Still looks good. Oh. Hold on, let's go back. I think I got her. Let me get her. Go back. Okay. Boom. Let's get all of these. But what size was these? I think they were sixes too. They were sixes too, yeah. All right, let me click all of those and Let's change them to tens. And then now that they're tens, we just gotta do that line. We know that they are where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna just take the time and just click on all of these. 
That way we can equal space them. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to go loop and come back around to here. I'm going to stop right here. So I'm going to go just to here. Mm -hmm. Boom. Equal space. Take a few of them out of there. Shift and clear the path. Then from here to here. Equal space. Take a few away. Shift and clear the path. Like this one right here. This one right here. Oh, wait a minute. Go back one. When you, just to take one away. Take one away. How did you add that one? I forgot how you did that. I I, I grabbed it, drag it, and I right click. Okay. That's what it was. Drag and right click. I'm going to get rid of these. Well, I'm going to, let me weld these two together first. Boom. Now, since it's on SF10 now, we can do our island fill again. Yep. Let's make them pink for a shade. And then we can hatch fill this. Clear the pad, merge overlapping stones. We know that's blue. Slide it right in there. I'm gonna get rid of these three. We probably slide that one over just a hair. And then fill between the, t the yep. two. Edit, fill between two. That looks good for me. Different clear wow. pad. I'll probably put another one right here. It looks like one to fit right here, but I'm gonna bring it in between those two like so down there. Like right here, I'll probably delete those two and do a fill between two to complete that line. Shift and clear the path. Like that's looking good. I wouldn't even worry about this little area right here. Although, depending on what you're using, whether you're using sublimation or vinyl, it's uh, gonna be may, vinyl. Oh, it's gonna be vinyl on the cup. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So I'll take and put one right in between those two. And then equal space it this way. And then equal space it the other way so that we don't got that gap right there. Mm -hmm. You cleared the... Yeah. Yep. And you smooth sailing. Like I'll probably put one like right here. And I'll probably oh that's the rest of that's her ear coming in. So I'll yeah. probably put one right here. And then move this one right here. Move this one right here. Maybe put one more right there. And that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when, when the vinyl cuts out, it's going to cut out all the little circle, the holes, right? Right, 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 right. Well, um, here's the thing, though. If you're doing the tumbler, why do you, uh, you don't have a sublimation printer? No. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Hmm. Because what I hear is that vinyl doesn't adhere well. I mean, stones do not adhere well to vinyl. So doing okay, let me think. Let me think outside the box. Remove all of these. Because a few tumblers that I've done, I haven't done rhinestones on them, but we sublimated the tumblers and pressed it in. Hmm. And then if we if you were to sublimate the tumbler. That way you will have your black area and then you will put the stones directly over top of that. And then you don't got to worry about the stones falling off. But if it's oh, going on top, huh? Falling off. Huh? They not going to fall off. 
Because you got a Tumblr press, right? No, I don't have a Tumblr press. I use um Drink wrap in the oven. No. Mm -mm. I oh, use CG five hundred. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me see. Oh, hold on. Can you see that CG five hundred adhesive? Yeah, yeah, it's real small. Hold on. Oh, it's because you're sharing your screen. Yeah. I use CG five hundred and it's a uh, glue that Swarovski um put out. Yeah. I did my car, my grill of my car. Yeah. My okay. and it, it's been on my car now for about five years and it, it ain't coming off. I've been through car <laughs> all types of weather, snow. I saw okay, so question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure uh that I'm assisting you in the right way. So after we do this design and we cut it out on the rhinestone flock and you pick it up and you got it on the tape, you're telling me you're gonna take the CG five hundred and layer it onto the vinyl before you add your stones and press your stones on. Mm -hmm. No, I've already prepped the cup. You sand the cup, then I, when we cut the um, template out and with my cutter, I stick that to the cut the template to the cup, and then put the CG on it, and then stick the stones on it one at a time. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, so doing it this way, doing it this way, you want to do it. You want to do it opposite of that. So you want to cut out this. You want to cut out this vinyl pattern. Hear me out. Uh -huh. You want to cut out this. Okay, where we at? Oh, we're on yours. I'm tripping. I'm trying to pull up mine. We're on yours here. So what okay. you want to do is you want to cut out the black vinyl. After you cut out the black vinyl and adhere it to the cup, get it yes. on the cup, then you're going to cut out your rhinestone template. Your rhinestone template you're going to re you're going to have and it's going to look like this with all the stones on it, right? Uh huh. After you cut that out, after you cut this black part out and place it on the cup, take your CG, your glue, because these stones right here are going to. Oh, I see. Okay, so if you if these stones are not hot fix, you buy regular. SST and flat backs. Yes. And the brush them into the, and brush them into the holes. Uh -huh. Right. And pick them up all at once. You don't have to hand set them no more, right? Wow. You don't have to hand set them no more. What you have to do though is you have to take your glue and put your a layer of glue down on top of your black. So take your glue and spread it out across your black. Because then when you go to take your tape. That has the stones on it, you're gonna just press it, layer it right on top of this black that already has the glue, and then you're gonna let it dry before you peel the tape off. Oh, that's gonna be a long process then. Okay, because it takes the glue a couple hours to before it sets. It, and that's but you you gotta think of it. It's a it's a quicker process. The way you're, laying, process. you're laying all the stones at once. The only yeah. thing you're waiting on is for the glue to adhere to the cup. So when you pour the, the tape off, the glue, the, the stone don't come with it. Right. Yeah. So I guess oh. you are, I guess in a sense, you are trading the three hours of hand setting. Boop, 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 boop. Versus placing them all at once and still waiting that dry time to take the tape off. That's going to be a huge game changer. Yeah. A yeah. huge game changer. Yes, but this yes. is going to be a test to see if it works because I would definitely have to see how, because I'm wondering would while the tape is, I got it on the, the crystal, would the tape stick to the cup too? Yeah and no. Um, because I have yeah. transfer tape, right? Right, but you got to remember the cup, right? When you're holding the cup with two hands and you're holding one piece of tape and trying to make sure that you're lining it up right, like you know what I mean, mm -hmm. you got the you got your other fingers to stop the tape from 
wrapping around the cup. So you're holding the tape in a way with these two fingers, and then you're stopping it with these two or with these two to try to position it before you press it all the way on. It's almost like trying to line up a decal on a car. You want to line it up to where you got it, but you're not letting the tape fully adhere to the surface. You, it may stick just a little bit, but you can lift it back up and then reposition it. Right, right. I got yeah. you. I got you. This is going to be a good a good test. This is going to be a good test. Yeah, and I believe that it can easily be accomplished because we don't have to worry about the vinyl shrinking like with T-shirts. Oh, you know? no. Because mm -mm. mm -mm, I'm using a permanent vinyl, so I won't have to uh, worry about that. It's definitely been a blast assisting you this morning. All right. Let me let you get to work. Thank you. Once All right, sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Have a blessed day. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.